Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, are you still there? No. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, how about my screen? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, that's good to hear. So are you ready to start? Yes. Okay, very good. So before we proceed for our new lesson, for our new topic for tonight, let's have the recap first. Okay, so last time we discussed about numbers and statics, right? So we have under for that is fractions and decimals. Can you still remember all of this? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's have a recap first. Fraction, please read. You might see fraction written out as a word aside from half and quarter. The bottom number of fraction is written or spoken as an ordinal number. Very good. How about the examples? <coughs> a quarter. A Next third. One. A half. Three feet. One and a half. Okay, very good. So those are the examples of fractions. So let's now proceed for this amount. So please read this amount. This amount and a wise written as number, not words. The decimal a decimal point is pronounced point, and all numbers after. The decimal point are spoken separately. Separately. All right. So these are the examples of decimals. Please read. Point five. Up. Point five. One point seven. Three point nine seven. Okay, it's 3.97. All right, very good. So those are the examples of the decimals. So can you still remember about decimals and fractions, right? Am mm -hmm. I correct? Okay, so now let's proceed for another. We have percentages. So please read the symbol. The symbol is written and spoken as percent. You might also see percent written in UK English. Percentages are normally written as numbers, not words. Okay, very good. So please read the examples. 1%, 99, 55.5, 55.5%. Five, 55 okay, very good. So these are the examples of the percentages or the percent. So next one, we're going to proceed for our new lesson. We have here this one. Okay. We have 4.6. Say the sentences out loud, saying the numbers correctly. So please read the example, this one. It Lee Yampat. Uh, 8.96 meters in the long jump. Okay, very good. So I will let you hear the audio. Okay, so that is the answer. So let's proceed now for number one. Please read, Tony. Tony, a lot was, uh, was just uh, 30 
centimeters behind Li. Okay, so please listen to the audio. Okay, so so this is what or this is what you have read a while ago. We have Tony Elliott was just 30 centimeters behind Lee. Okay, so what is your answer for this one? Your answer is, for example, uh, we have the example here. Edley jumped 8.96 meters in the long jump. So this side, and number one. It was just uh, 30 centimeters behind me. Okay, you are going to arrange the sentence. So your answer is, Tony Elliott was 30 centimeters behind Lee. Okay, how about number two? They see Cop run the 100 meters in 9.6 seconds. Okay, so please listen first for the next audio. Okay, so that is for number two. How about number three? This was a uh, two. Uh, it was two, three of the second faster than his last race. Okay, his last race. Okay, so. Please listen first for number three. Okay, so how about number four? Yanni Ojai ran the 100 meters in 10.2 seconds. Okay, very good. Please listen for another audio. Okay, so how about for number five? The U.S. currently hosts 90, uh, 19% of the medals. Okay, very good. So next audio, please listen. Okay, so those are the audio that you heard a while ago. So next one, we're going to proceed for our new lesson, times and dates. So please read about times and dates. There are many ways. There are many ways of saying the time and the date in English. American or British English. Speaker often use different forms. Okay, so that is the times and dates. So, by the way, do you know what is times and dates? Or it could be yes. time and date. Are you familiar with that word? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. So next one we have five point one. Um, saying what time is okay. So please read the sentence. Nine thirty. Uh, U.S. English in an informal spoken U.K. English use the twelve half hour clock. Okay. Very good. That's one example. 9.30. Okay, it's 9.30 or it could be half past 9. Another example. 3.45. Quarter okay. to 4. 
Very good. 3.45 or to be quarter to 4. How about the next? Uh, 9.27 and uh. 9, 10, 9, 9, 25, 25 past 9. How about this one? 3, 50, 10 to 4. Okay, very good. Next. How about this? 9, 27, 27 minutes. Past nine. Okay, how about this one? Three fifty one nine minute to four. Okay, very good. So how about this one? Eight forty three. Okay. We have O seven hundred. At the top again, seven hundred. Okay, oh, seven hundred. How about the next one? Eight forty three. Okay, it's eight forty three. How about the next? Sixteen twenty six. Okay, so those are the examples of times and dates. So we have here another audio. So you're going to listen to the audio and fill in the gaps using times and the panel. So we have here Sophia and Dylan are going to see a play. So Dylan calls Sophia to say he will be late. So this time, are you ready to listen to the audio about Sophia and Dylan? Yes. Okay, very good. So I will play now the audio. So please listen first. Okay, so did you hear the audio clearly? No, I can hear anything. Okay, so you haven't hear it. Okay, wait for a while. I'll just need to check the audio here. How about that one? Can you hear now? No. Okay, wait for a while. Can you see my screen also? Yes. Okay. How about this one? Can you hear it? No. Yeah, uh, hear yeah, it? No. Okay. Yes. All right. Hello, Dylan. So I will play again the audio and then you can also take the notes if you want so that you can answer the following questions later. Okay. 
So are you okay. ready? Okay. Yeah. But no worries because I will play the audio twice. Okay. So start now. Yeah. Hello, Dylan. Where are you? You said your train would arrive at 1807. I'm at the station now. I know. The train was due to leave at 1714, but it was delayed. The new arrival time is 1855. Oh, no. No time for dinner, then. I'm afraid not. You do know that the play begins at half past seven, don't you? Yes, I'm really sorry. Well, it's not your fault. I'll wait for you outside the theater until 725, but then I'm going in. The intermission's at, let's see, quarter to nine. I'll meet you in the bar. Okay. Hope to get there before the play. See you later. Bye. Okay, so I will play again the audio. Please listen. Yes. Hello, Dylan. Where are you? You said your train would arrive at 1807. I'm at the station now. I know. The train was due to leave at 1714, but it was delayed. The new arrival time is 1855. Oh, no. No time for dinner, then. I'm afraid not. You do know that the play begins at half past seven, don't you? Yes, I'm really sorry. Well, it's not your fault. I'll wait for you outside the theater until 725, but then I'm going in. The intermission's at, let's see, quarter to nine. I'll meet you in the bar. Okay. Hope to get there before the play. See you later. Bye. Okay, so did you hear the audio? Yes. Yes, all right. So do you have your answers already based on the following questions that you can see on the screen? Yes. Okay, very good. So we have here an example. Dylan's train was due to arrive at 18.07. So we are, or we have already here the answer we have, 18.07, or it could be 18.07, okay? So next one, we're going to proceed for number one. Please read okay. the question. Dylan's train was due to leave at Okay, so Dylan's train was due to leave at, what's the time? Uh, 17, 17, 17, 14. Exactly, it's 17, 14. How about for question number two? The new arrival time of the train is. Uh, 1855. Very good. It's 1855. How about number three? The play start at, uh, seven thirty. Seven thirty. About number four. Sophia will wait for the end here until uh, seven twenty five. Seven twenty five. How about number five? The last question. Uh At the, uh, at uh, the intermission of the play is at 8.45. Okay, 
very good, 845. So you get the perfect score, good job. So it seems that you listen carefully to the audio. Okay, good job. So you get the perfect score for this activity, 5.2. So this time I want you to read all of this together with your answers. Okay, you can start now. Yes. Okay. Start reading the sign. Dylan Strain. Dylan Strain was due to a prior at uh, 18 7. Okay, number no. one. The train was due to leave at seventeen forty. Number two. The new arrival time of the train is eighteen fifty five. Number three. Uh, the place starts at uh seven. 30. Okay. Number four. Sophia will wait for the end of 27 25. Number five. The intermission of the play is at 8 45. Okay, very good. So those are the correct answers. It's all about the time. Okay, understand? Yes. Okay, very good. So next we're going to proceed for dates. So our first lesson here is all about time. But this time, let's proceed now for the dates. Okay, are you familiar about the dates? Yes. Okay, very good. So when we say dates, of course, we are referring to the month, the day, and the year. Understand? Yes. Okay, again, if you're going to refer <laughs> to the dates, that includes month, day, and this last one? Yeah. It's the year. Okay, yeah. Very good. Yes, good job. Please read dates in American. Dates in American English are you usually written with the month first date in British English are usually written with the day first. Okay, very good. So we have here example. We have from the U.S., this side, and the other side is from the United Kingdom. Again, U.S., United States, this side, the other side here is we have United Kingdom. Understand? Yes. Okay, very good. So if you're going to differentiate the two country, we have the U.S. and the U.K., we can see here on the screen that they're not different, right? They're not the same because from U.S. it starts with the month, the day, and the, what do you call this one? And the yeah. year. Very yeah. good. Yes, exactly. Well, in the United Kingdom, it starts with the What should be the stories day. here? It starts with the day, day month, day. and the year. Understand? Yes. Understand? Okay, very good. So this one, we have also another examples. We have March 10, 2004. That is for United States. Well, the other side from United Kingdom, we have the 10. March 2004. Understand? Yes. 
Yes, okay, very good. So by the way, before we proceed here for the following activities, this one, uh, I mean, yes, can you tell me an example of time first? That's not the time. Can you tell me an example of time? Except for the screen that you can see. Can you tell me yes. time, examples of time? Three, at least three examples. Uh, 9.30. Okay, another. 16.26. Okay, another. 27 minutes past 9. Okay, very good. So thank you so much for your answer. Another question. Can you tell me what time do you go to school? Uh, what uh, time do you usually go to school? 12. 12. 12.10. Okay, it's 12.10. Okay, so that is your time in Vietnam. It's 12.10, right? Bye. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. How about what time do you eat your lunch? Uh, Fifteen minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. How about... What time do you sleep at night? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know what is the time do you usually sleep at night? I sleep at night, but I don't know what time I oh. sleep. Oh, I see. So you haven't um, seen the time that you are going to sleep. Okay, you did not uh, watch the time, right? Is that what you're referring yes. to? Okay, it's okay. How about what time do you... Yes, what time do you study? Do you usually study? Start studying if you're already at home. I don't know. Oh, you don't know also. Okay, it's okay. How about... What time do you usually eat your breakfast? Uh, yes. 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your answers. How about... Let's go to the dates. So we have different dates. So can you tell me example of dates? Let's start from example of US. So tell me first the month, the day, and the year. Okay, tell me three examples, just like US. Uh, mm -hmm. April 6, 20 and 6. All right. So April 6 or 2006, is that what you mean? Yes. Okay, very good. Another example of U.S. August 9, 20 and 6. Okay, all right. August 9... 20, 26. All right. Very good. Thank you so much. How about last one? U.S. Uh, yes. At July 20 and 6. Okay. Very good. How about from United Kingdom? Please tell me examples. Starts with the day, uh, month, and the year. 6 May 20 and 6. Okay, another. 2 June 20 and 6. And uh, last one. 6 for 20 and 6. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. So, do you uh, understand about times and dates? Yes. 
Okay, very good. Thank you so much and bye-bye. See you again. Bye.